MG-34 on standby. Medical orders. Weapon crew eager to dig in. The latest patch in Company of Heroes 3 comes with significant changes to weapon teams. The team weapons have become more effective in their roles, and are significantly better compared to how they used to be. For example, the heavy machine gun now has a suppression aura that quite large in my opinion. The anti-tank gun now able to shoot through any objects that are nearby. Moreover, the tank cannot retaliate back as the tank shells do not behave the same way, making the building an ultimate one-sided cover. However, if your anti-tank gun is a bit further away from the building, then your shell can no longer go through the obstacle. And before you say it, yes, I know, it is a feature. No longer tanks counter anti-tank guns, and blobs counter the machine guns. The team weapons do not get countered by the units they are designed to counter. I digress. Anyway, let us get back to the main topic of this video. As mentioned earlier, the team weapons are now have gotten better, and so do the effectiveness of the prepared positions ability. Prepare positions provides two different effects, sight increase and damage mitigation. The first effect increases the team weapon sight range from 35 to 40. Why the 40 range you ask? A standard sight for non-scout infantry and vehicles is 35. As such, the team weapon is more likely to take damage, whether the damage is from explosive or small arms. Having the increased sight makes the team weapon able to operate more independently. The prepare positions also provides damage mitigation to team weapons and fortifications. The damage mitigation is one third of the incoming damage or approximately 33%. The team weapons would take reduced damage regardless of the type of damage. In some scenarios, prepared positions damage mitigation could stack on top of heavy covers mitigation, causing the damage reduction value to reduce quite substantially. The prepared position is a passive ability, meaning the ability is always active on the team weapons making it very easy to use. A Tommy does 12 damage per shot. If the team weapon has prepared positions passive, the damage taken is reduced to 8. Moreover, if the weapon team is in heavy cover, another 50% mitigation modifier further reduces the damage taken to 4. Therefore, the total mitigation in heavy cover is around 2 third of the incoming damage. The mitigation also applies to the machine gun bunker at the same rate. The bunker has 720 HP, and can take up to 6 shots from a medium tank. If the bunker has prepared positions passive, it could take up to 9 shots making its effective health increase to 1080 from 720. Combining the mitigation with the bunker's smaller hitbox makes it extremely difficult to be destroyed by the artilleries. The prepared positions ability is part of the defensive warfare tree in the Italian infantry battle group. While it's a great ability, unfortunately, the battle group is currently one of the weakest in the game, with half of its abilities being unusable. The registered artillery and booby traps are very situational, and their costs are often too expensive to justify their use, rendering them useless. For instance, the registered artillery costs 80 ammunition, and competes with propaganda war ability, which is one of the best abilities in the game. The ability is very restricted as it can only be used in the user's territory. Moreover, it is easy to dodge, and the damage is not even that impressive. The booty trap has been tuned down to the point where its cost to performance ratio is so low that it's not worth using. The L6-40 and Wastatori squad call-ins can be quite situational. The L6 is effective against the British when they rush Humber and wreck and package for Tommies. The recent updates have increased the L6's frontal armor, 
allowing it to consistently defeat the Hummer and be immune to small arms. Its auto cannon is also effective in bleeding out the Tommies. Guastatori is one of the few elite infantries that has an armor value greater than 1. However, the armor value does not justify the higher cost and upkeep. The small arms, such as the M1 Garand or the Enfield, with a penetration of 1 have an 80% chance to penetrate the 1.25 armor and deal the damage. The Guastatori armor is, unless when facing anything, that is not the standard issue rifles. For instance, Rifleman's BAR or the British Bren gun has more than 100% chance to penetrate the Guastatori armor. However, the Guastatori's double flamethrowers are extremely effective in close quarter and clearing garrisons, making them a very effective unit in urban combat, but they are still quite bad in the open map. As the battle group revolved around prepared positions, most of the units consisted of team weapons. The idea is to have the following units as the standard, one heavy machine gun, one anti-tank gun, one LEIG, and three panzer grenadiers. The build may deviate, based on different situations. For example, the L6S would be called in as they are great to counter scoped Enfield Tommies, and a Humber. Or the HMG Bunker, is amazing on a certain map. For example, this spot in Air Perineus is amazing for a machine gun bunker as it covers the entire bridge. Moreover, the bunker enjoys the benefits of the high elevation mechanics, providing it with additional accuracy, and ignoring the cover bonuses of its target. Additionally, the projectiles, such as tank shells, are likely to hit the environment, making it significantly harder to land shots on the bunker. In some maps, especially in narrow maps, it may be even worth getting a second LEIG. It is important to not bleed especially in the early game. Spending manpower to reinforce the fallen models could delay the team weapon and the infantry upgrade significantly, causing to lose the subsequent battles, and, thus, further bleeding. DAC infantries are more expensive and have higher upkeep in general. The prepared position's ability makes a significant difference in lessening the DAC's lack of manpower issue. You would be surprised how cheap it is to maintain your team weapons as they are less likely to lose a model from an artillery barrage, and the crews would be fully healed by the time the enemy artilleries have finished their reloading. The ability also has become more effective as the weapon teams got buffs, but it is being held back by the Italian infantry battle group. However, if the battle group is to undergo a rework, it can become effective in wider scenarios. Despite these drawbacks from its battle group, it is still usable in a few game modes and maps. If you have made it to the end, here is a little bonus. You can protect your team weapons crews from indirect fire consistently using sandbags. By building two paralleled lines of sandbags, and leaving enough space between them. 
you can order the crews that are not operating the weapon by right click in front of the sandbag and drag towards a direction. You will see the crew's position as you drag the right click 